guys, today I'm here with one of my best friends, Coda the Pomeranian. And he's so happy to be here. So he's just going to be here with me as I do a Q&A. So thank you for everybody who put in questions for me to answer, and I'm going to answer all of them, and I'm quite a few, so let's see if I can kind of do them quickly. I don't want to keep you guys like sitting there while I'm just answering a million questions you probably don't care about. Here goes. This is the first one, and I thought it was pretty cool because it has a little bit of like a backstory to it. Hello, I'm a fellow diabetic, and I actually only Instagram Diabetes 101. I was wondering if you have the mental breakdowns and feel crazy sometimes like I do. The days my sugars are high, I feel like I am depressed, but I know it's just my diabetes giving me that feeling. Sincerely, Maggie. Okay, Maggie, so I definitely feel exactly how you do. Um, I think the most frustrating thing for me about diabetes is the fact that blood sugars can affect your emotions and your emotions can affect your blood sugars. So sometimes it really is a struggle with, you know, feeling really irritated, agitated, or as you said, depressed and knowing, you know, it's got to be my diabetes because otherwise I'm having a great day, but then sometimes I just feel like awful, you know? And so I check my blood sugar and my blood sugar is high and I'm like, okay just my diabetes, but that is hard to explain to other people, especially people who don't know you have diabetes and you're like, yeah, I'm just not feeling great because I have a high blood sugar and then you have to go into detail about what that means and it's just like, there's this whole other aspect to you that a lot of people don't see and so it's kind of like that black and white thing with your mood, like you're either in a bad mood or a good mood, but that isn't how a diabetic's life works. It's like just so many shades of gray. And yeah, this does cause me to have mental breakdowns sometimes because you don't know what's you and what's your diabetes and that can be really frustrating. But the good part is I think the more or maybe the longer that you're diabetic, the more you might get to know yourself and really be able to pinpoint what's making you upset or what's affecting your blood sugar. Even though I know that that can be really hard to do and even after five years, I am still confused about, you know, what is me and what is diabetes. Um, but I have not been better at it, so that's like a positive that I can give you. What's your favorite pizza? Okay, I really like margarita pizzas. Um, I don't really have them that often. Usually if I'm just gonna order like a cheap pizza, I just want like cheese or something, like something so simple. Um, but if it, I'm going to like a fancy restaurant or something like margarita pizza, those are so good. <laughs> what are my favorite types of drinks? Um, I really like iced teas because I have like a southern family or my mom's side is like a southern family and my grandmother makes like sweet tea like in the summer. Actually she makes it all the time. And so I love iced teas and I love, well, not love, but I'm kind of addicted to Diet Coke so there's that. How tall are you and favorite shows? Alright, so my height, even though I'm pretty sure I've kind of answered some of these questions in my TMI video and I'll put a link to that below because it just has like general things about me, um, but I'll say it again, I am 5'6", and as for favorite shows, I have so many, but I'll just list a few, there's Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, I've always been a huge like addict to America's Next Top Model, Orange is the New Black, gosh what else, I'm currently watching the show Six Feet Under, which is like amazing. Um, the L Word. Oh, so many great shows that I've already finished and I wish I could just like erase it from my mind and rewatch them because they're amazing. American Horror Story. Parks and Rec, for sure. <laughs> Would you rather grow 25 centimeters of hair every month or have the power to fly? So yeah, I, ever since I did cut my hair, I am kind of like, oh, I'm sad that it's not as long. Um, but I feel like being able to fly would be a lot more cool. I mean, that's something that nobody can do. That would be amazing. Do you want to fly? He can fly, actually, watch. I definitely want to fly because who wouldn't want to fly? That would solve so many of my issues. Who are my style icons? Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of who I'd actually base my style off of. I don't want to say myself because that sounds weird, but to be honest, I have a lot of different styles that I go off of that I kind of just go with. Like I just find stuff in stores that I like and I buy them and I don't really have any specific person that I look to for style advice. Um, I'm really trying to think about this. Coda, who are my style icons? Oh, okay, so I thought of a few. These aren't people like necessarily base my style off of, but people whose style I really enjoy and this includes Taylor Swift. I feel like her street style lately is just like amazing, like she really has it together now. That sounds weird, but I know that like in the beginning of her career she used to wear a lot of like sparkly crazy dresses and then none of that. Um, I like Miley Cyrus's style because it's kind of crazy and I think that that's really cool. Who else? Um, 
the Jenner girls, I think that sometimes they can have like a little bit more risque options of what they wear, but I still really enjoy what they wear. I think it looks good on them. And let me think of one more, Vanessa Hudgens. Like she has crazy good style, I think, and it really works with her body. And I don't know if I could pull it off, but I think it's pretty cool. Oh, Emma Watson, Emma Watson has great style too. Like she works for the United Nations now and she just has this really like classy, professional, like, oh, it's just amazing. She's amazing. All right, so those are my style icons, I guess. I mean, I like all of them, so. Favorite diet soda or drink, etc. Um, I really, really love the diet um, Arizona iced teas, and I'm also obsessed with Diet Coke and Diet Dr. Pepper. Actually, just like any diet soda I like, I don't really have a certain preference. Lately, I've been drinking a lot of Diet Dr. Pepper. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I love iced tea as well. Like I usually order iced tea when I go to a restaurant if I don't order a Diet Coke. And once in blue moon, I'll order water because I realize I'm dehydrated and like, we need water guys, like, bad. Oh, and what's your favorite temptation food to eat when you have a low blood sugar? Um, that could be anything. Like I said in my diabetes and stacking video, I really like to eat cereal. So I'd have to say like my temptation is just cereal and just eating a lot of it. Like any of the most sugary cereals, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Fruit Loops are just like number one. Like I will, can, I can eat so much of that when my blood sugar is low. And that's the bad thing is like, when do you know when to stop? After one bowl, after two? I mean, definitely after one bowl. But for me, that's a huge temp temptation thing. And also sometimes just like, drinks that I don't usually have, like maybe root beer or something, I'm just like, wow, maybe I can use a little bit of root beer to bring my sugar up, and then I just want to like, guzzle it, because I never have it. <laughs> Favorite memory of 2015 thus far? This isn't really one specific memory, but this is just something that has been <laughs> specific to this year, is the fact that my niece was born in December, so all of well, my second niece. So all of 2015 has been based off of like her first couple months of life. So for the first time I've been like with this new person who's new to our world and just spending time with her and with my older sister Nicole and just like getting to experience those first few months of life and I just, I love her so much. As you guys know, I have two nieces and I love my other niece so much too. She lives kind of far away so when I go to visit my sister and I go to the San Francisco area, that's who I'm visiting. I'm visiting my little niece and my sister and I mean, I went to visit them too and that was amazing. But I'd say that visiting with my sister and spending a lot more time with my sister who lives here and with her new baby has been like the best part of this year. <laughs> this one's for you, Coda. Channing Tatum or Zac Efron? Tell me. Yeah. Oh yeah, me too. We're gonna have to go with Zac Efron because I love Channing Tatum and I... Oh, oh, that's the Diet Coke. <laughs> Channing Tatum is definitely a babe, but if you think back to his like Step Up, the first, like, the first movie Step Up, um, not any of the other ones, just that one, he's amazing in that and I could fall in love with him a million times in that movie. Um, but Zac Efron has always been like, he was my crush from High School Musical 1 when I was like 11 when that came out. So I always have a special place in my heart for Zac. And if you think about like 17 again, Zac, oh my goodness. So yeah, I would have to go with Zac, even though I love you, Channing, and I think you're hot, and I think you're an amazing dancer, which is like, if a guy can dance, yeah. Zac danced in Hairspray, so I love Hairspray to you guys. Hi, do you have any tips for anybody with diabetes and you're high or low? and you don't want to live with diabetes anymore, P.S. you're totally awesome. Um, I would say if you're a diabetic, remember what I always try to say is that you're not just a diabetic, you are you, and there are so many other components to yourself, and you have diabetes, diabetes does not have you. I think that's the most important thing to remember. I definitely wish that I didn't have diabetes, like all the time I wish I didn't have it, but at the same time I'm grateful in a weird way that I do because it went, Without it, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't have something so personal to talk about with you guys. So I definitely have this side of me that feels blessed that I'm dealing with something like this because it's like Kelly Clarkson doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. So even though that sounds kind of cheesy and just tacky, I think it's true. So yeah, but if you do just sit there every day and think, I hate diabetes, I don't want to have it, and I just wish I was a diabetic, if you do that every single day, I don't judge you at all like that's totally normal I probably think that a million times a day and thank you you're totally awesome as well <laughs> what are your favorite bands or artists I've just been so into Lord for so long like ever since her first album I know it hasn't been that long but it's just like she hasn't released anything new yet but I don't even care because I listen to her album like daily so 
So I love Lord, and I've really been into Odessa lately. Like Odessa is just, whew, I'm feeling it these days. Oh, and do you like Austria? Ha ha, just wondering. Um, I don't have any specific feelings toward Austria. I've never been to Europe. I don't know much about Austria, but I don't have anything against it. If that's where you're from, then maybe I'll come visit you someday because I don't know anything about Austria. We're not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how to hold him for this, you guys. I want him to feel like an equal. All right, this is the last question, and it reads, Hi, Elise. I love your videos so much. Thank you. Um, what's your favorite show at the moment and do you like reading and what is your favorite book? So I already said my favorite shows. Um, I have like a million um, And I do enjoy reading. It was a huge part of my like Childhood my mom's a teacher and she loves to read and so we always had books around here and I just yeah, I love to read um, What is my favorite book? I don't have a favorite book, but I have favorite authors Obviously Harry Potter like I've read those books a million times. Um, I really like the Inkart series um, I guess fantasy is like really my favorite thing right now. I'm reading um, Name of the Wind, which is a really cool book, and I'm like halfway through it. So, yeah, his fantasy books are just like, oh, Tamara Pierce. I guess you could say Tamara Pierce. She has like a million books. I haven't read too many of them, but the ones I have read, I love. And as for like non fantasy, like mystery stuff, I really like um, Jodie Picoult. I read a lot of her books. I've read most of them, I think. So, I can't say that I have a favorite book, but those are my favorite authors, and oh, oh, classic books. If you go to like classic books, I really like The Great Gatsby, um, I like East of Eden. What else? Oh, The Poisonwood Bible, amazing book, and that's about it. <laughs> if there's anything you probably learned from this video, it's that I can't choose a favorite. It's just impossible for me. I have just a wide variety of things that I love, and I'm just in and out of obsession with all of these different things, so I'm sorry if I couldn't give like specific answers, but I really love doing these Q&A videos and I hadn't done one in a while and I'm just, I love that you guys have questions to ask me and that you want to know the answer, so thank you for providing your questions and I will be back next Wednesday with a diabetes related video and I don't even know what that's going to be yet, but it'll be good. It'll be good. Say goodbye, Coda! I don't know next time that you guys are going to see him, but... Did you like this experience, or are you just like, ready for some food? He's a dog, so he's always ready for food, right? Bye! Bye guys! Remember to like this video if you liked it and subscribe!